up everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Grace Square and I'm a preemie mom I will have all preemie and my NICU journey related videos linked below but we're in the month of September and being that it is the ninth month of the year which is crazy to think of I am going to be launching nine episodes related to my NICU journey related to all NICU awareness topics um anything that can help you with your NICU journey or if you know someone who has a baby in the NICU this could also be beneficial to them so the first video I just want to talk a little bit about what is NICU awareness and how are ways you can give back to the NICU if you have graduated like I mentioned earlier this month I am dedicating and committing myself to honoring the families that are in the NICU it is such a challenge to be in the hospital day in and day out um, this goes as far as families who have a baby in the NICU and also for nurses and doctors that have to be in the NICU every single day I mean it's such a beautiful journey and to be honest I probably would not have changed it for anything but there's still so many challenges so in my series i definitely will talk about how to overcome these challenges how to remain positive in the NICU and also how to get support while you're in the NICU so something i've been doing um on my instagram well actually even while i was in the NICU is sharing my journey sharing my journey of my miscarriages sharing my journey of my p-prom experience which is basically when your water breaks ahead um, of when it's supposed to. And also my NICU journey experience. NICU Awareness Month started off with families sharing their stories to bring hope to the families that are currently in the NICU. So I am committing myself to continue to share, continue to reach out to moms, talk to moms, you know, just being there and being there for them as much as I can. So you may be asking, how can you, even if you haven't experienced the NICU journey, or even if you don't know anyone in the NICU, how can you help? So with COVID, I know some of these ways to help may be a little limited, but it still doesn't hurt to reach out to your local NICU if they are still enforcing, you know, quarantine and no one really allowed in the hospital, which is totally understandable but here are five ways to give back to the NICU and to celebrate NICU Awareness Month. So the first one would be is hosting an event. And even though September is the dedicated month to bringing NICU awareness, you can do these things outside of September. So November, there's, um, I think it's November 17th. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it is because it's my mom's birthday, that it's World Prematurity Day. So myself and another NICU mom, we went back to our NICU and we um, partnered up with Carter's and they gave us these onesies to bring to the NICU. And then I reached out to like local companies to donate things like sprinkles, cupcakes, snacks, cold drinks, anything to plan like a little event for the parents to come in, grab a snack, to talk, to talk about their experiences, to hear how we've overcome our experiences. And I miss that so much because we also did another one um, for Christmas. We also partnered up with Carter's for Christmas and we they donated some preemie onesies and we did like a decorate your ugly onesie, but it was cute. But so yeah, hosting an event, it's so important to connect with the new parents to show them how much you have overcome, like what your baby's doing now, just to bring hope. So I know, like I said, with COVID, this might be limited, but definitely keep this on the top of your list for once everything is done. Another way to give back is to volunteer your time. So right across the street from my Mickey, there was a Ronald McDonald house. And when I tell y'all, it was such a relief for me to go to. They would provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They would provide snacks there. Um, pumping station was amazing. They had TVs. It was just such a way to step away from the NICU and just to like have some alone time. So right now the Ronald McDonald house is open. However, they are kind of limited with their volunteers. But like I mentioned earlier, this doesn't have to, all of these ideas do not have to be just for the month of September. 
You could also look up to see what are your local nonprofits or charities that are helping NICU parents and staff. Um, in San Diego, there's Miracle Babies, and every month Miracle Babies does a diaper drive. And that doesn't only benefit the families that are in the NICU, it also helps the families that have just recently graduated. So you can volunteer to pass out diapers, and um, right now they're doing like a drive through so it's completely safe, you know, everyone's wearing their mask. So you can volunteer your time for a diaper drive. So definitely try to connect and see what's out there. There's so many nonprofits benefiting NICU families. You know, your time is very valuable and your time is very appreciated. Um, when we were going to the Ronald McDonald House, I would always be so grateful for the volunteers that would come to serve us a meal. Uh, Bill's Barbecue was my favorite, but you know, just people just coming and showing that they do care. It makes you feel like, okay, I'm not alone in this. And to be able to do that to a NICU family just means the world. Y'all know how I am. So this one is for the health professionals that are taking care of our little preemies. So when I was in the NICU, I um, used to reach out to all kinds of companies. Like when I was pumping, I'd just be on my phone all the time. And Sprinkles in San Diego, they they donated. I told them my story. I was like, hey, my daughter's in the NICU. My staff is amazing. The nurses are incredible. So I want to give back and I need your help. <laughs> so I reached out to them. I was like, is there any way we could just like donate like a couple dozen of cupcakes? And guess what? They did. <laughs> so I want to say it was for Olivia's second month birthday. Day. We had a big party in the NICU, we brought cupcakes, and I was so grateful for Sprinkles to be able to do that and to help me give back. Um, right before quarantine, my NICU mom friend and I, we were going to go just drop off some coffee to our nurses. And something as simple as coffee, something as simple as a note saying like, hey, you're doing amazing, like we appreciate you bringing in, you can't bring flowers into the NICU, um, but, and you're really not supposed to bring food, but if you leave the food in the front counter, the head nurse will take care of it, trust me. Um, just showing a little bit like, hey, you know, we appreciate what we're doing. Everything you do for our babies, anything you do for the NICU babies in general, is not overlooked. So this next one is pretty quarantine safe. Um, this is reaching out to brands to donate to your former NICU or your local NICU. Um, right now, Mamaru is giving away to, I want to say it's about 10 NICUs. They're going to donate a couple of Mamaru swings to the NICU for babies to use while they're in the NICU. And if you're interested in nominating your NICU or an your local NICU, I will have it linked below. So yes, Mama Ru is very involved. Carter's is very involved. They actually sent Olivia a full care package when we were in the NICU. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll also have that linked below. Uh, let's see, Blooming Bath. So I reached out to them and for one of my events and I was like, hey, um, I need a couple of prizes for games that we'll be playing for my event can you donate a certain amount of blooming bats? And lucky for me, blooming bats headquarters in, is in Carlsbad, California, which isn't too far from us. So I was able to take a couple of blooming bats and bring them to the NICU. And it's just right now, y'all, my list, my request list from brands is crazy <laughs> to get back to my NICU. Like they just deserve it all. Um, just look up baby brands and see who their PR person is and reach out to them. Last one is pretty much the easiest one. Reach out to a NICU parent, reach out to a former NICU parent and just check on them. You know, sometimes people just wanna be heard. Luckily for myself, I had an amazing support system with my family and my friends that, um, and also basically everybody on Instagram and Facebook, like we had an amazing support. So anytime I see that someone has a baby in the NICU, I definitely reach out to them and I'm just let them know, hey, if there's any questions or if you just need to talk, I'm here for you. So just offering an ear, offering an eye to read what they have to say 
is so appreciated. You know, if you don't know anyone in the NICU and you do want to get involved, look up the hashtags preemie, the hashtags NICU, um, and just reach out to a mom, just let them know, or a dad. I always say mom, but also the dads. The dads need love too. Um, and just let them know that you're thinking about them. Even maybe send them like a $5 Starbucks gift card. You don't understand. Like it's the little things when you're going through this that matter the most. So those are five ways to celebrate NICU Awareness Month. Just a little recap. And once again, like I mentioned before, that these aren't only limited to the month of September. So one, planning an event. Two, volunteering your time to the NICU or a nonprofit that supports NICU families. Three, reaching out to your local vendors, seeing if they can make a donation to the hospital staff. Four, reaching out to baby brands, see what they can donate to the preemie babies. And five, just reaching out yourself to a mom and showing love and support or a dad. Why do I always do that? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about what NICU Awareness Month is about. And I hope you guys can step out and help a family and show some love and support. Once again, I will have links below my journey, all NICU related, and also the Mama Roo contest. So you can enter your NICU to win some Mama Roos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can catch up on the rest of my NICU Awareness Month series for the entire month of September. And I hope you guys can go out there and show some love.